We give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rekak Wadash, double honors to the apostles that rule well, so I touch the brothers in the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in what? In sincerity. <clears throat> yeah, I got a video that I found on Shit Hit the Fan Plan. <clears throat> and it appears that we have a, uh, a major problem with the banks. All right. Um, yeah. It appears that we have a major problem with the banks. All right. This is the name of the article. And I remember when Apostle Tahaga Barakar Aryamla talked about this movie right here. It's called, uh, uh, it's called Rollover. All right. From 1981. Right. How the stock market had crashed and people were trying to take their money out the, out the bank account, but they couldn't. Right. It's amazing how this movie rollover and it was uh it came out in 1981 right and now when you read this article it appears that we have a major problem with the banks right they have problem of uh depositing checks and people withdrawing money from the account but i'm gonna read a little bit of this article then i'm gonna play the video right and i don't want to prolong it of course we're gonna bring the scriptures right so here we go it said in recent weeks, there have been numerous high profile bank glitches. Accounts are being shut down without warning at a staggering rate over the nation. And more institutions continue to get into very serious financial trouble. For a while, I was ignoring some of these reports because I thought they were isolated issues. But when you step back and take a bigger picture view of things, it really does appear that we have a major problem with the banks. According to CNN, on Friday, many of our largest banks were hit by deposit delays. Multiple uh, U.S. banks were hit by deposit delays on Friday caused by an error at a payment processing network, according to the Federal Reserve. The clearinghouse, which operates the automated clearinghouse system, which allows banks to send electronic payment to each other, experience a processing error with a batch of bank transaction. Banks send everything from direct deposit paychecks to customer bill payment for mortgage and utility bills through the ACA system. Right? This caused a tremendous amount of distress because paychecks were not showing up in the accounts of a lot of people. And considering the fact that more than 60% of the country is currently living paycheck to paycheck, that is a big deal. Incredibly, some banks are still trying to fix the problem, right? The following message that PNC banks posted on Twitter on Sunday. Good morning, Amy. Due to the industrial wide delay with federal ACH transaction, some ACH Credit and debits, including some direct deposit, haven't been processed. We recommend that you contact the, uh, your employer or ACH originator for more information. Thank you. All right, there have been so many glitches this year. Right? Why? Because the banks are collapsing. Right? It's just like the ancient Roman Empire connect financially beginning before the most high uh brought the final blow upon the ancient romans right the same thing there's nothing new under the sun right so i'm gonna play a, a clips on this video right here I'm, like i said i'm not gonna prolong this video you know um here we go let me get into about half of it okay let me get into about half of it all right you want to keep it in is going with the tide the only question is whether you want to let it go like an unguided missile and raise hell, or whether you want to keep it in the hands of responsible people. Keep it quiet. Keep it quiet. Believe me, Hub. The dollar will hold. Believe me. The system will be fine, providing nobody panics.
It began eight days ago when a group of Arab investors withdrew billions of dollars from U.S. banks. That, in turn, started a chain reaction on the world money markets. Dollars, pounds, marks, francs, yen. Not one currency escaped. This scene outside a Manhattan bank was duplicated all over the world as people saw their life savings become worthless in a matter of hours. Good evening, I'm George Page in New York, and this is another in our series of reports on the world economic crisis. The growing paralysis of the industrial world has left millions without jobs, without money, and without hope. Crowds of unemployed poured into Washington yesterday. They stood in silent protest before the nation's leaders. At the same time, more than a million people packed St. Peter's Square, where the Pope urged calm and nonviolence. The pontiff asked for prayers for world leaders, prayers and peace and reason. But the last 24 hours have been marked by growing protests and ever-increasing violence. Last night, demonstrators burned American currency in front of the White House, and attempts to put out the fires led to a confrontation with police. Every hour, from every corner of the globe, there are new reports of outraged crowds demanding action. A bankrupt world seems to be teetering on the very edge of anarchy. for continued coverage from around the world. A statement was issued from the OPEC meeting today that the leading oil producing nations would resume oil exports as soon as the international monetary markets have stabilized. The panic has spread across political and philosophical boundaries. The USSR and the developed Eastern European communist countries dependent on Western trade and capital have witnessed the same riots that have taken place in the West. The Economic Summit Conference tomorrow will be attended by leaders of the West, the East, and the Third World. Said one, there is a need for a unity of purpose and resolve unequaled since the end of World War II. At this time of crisis, there has been a turning to the past as well as the future. Words spoken by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in the depths of the Depression were quoted in the Senate today. This is preeminently the time to speak the truth, frankly and boldly nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. We face our common difficulties. They concern, thank God, only material things. Each age is a dream that is dying or one that is coming to birth. So there you go, man. There you go. Um, <clears throat> just like the the beginning of the year, or I think it was the beginning of the of of spring, when how Silicon Valley had uh how Silicon Valley had uh had collapsed, man. Right? Um, they they couldn't they couldn't pay their customers. They can't they couldn't give customers their money. Because a lot of these corporations took money out of it at one time, and you know, and FDIC, you know, so much that they got in a vault. There's so much money that they have in possession, you know, so they couldn't pay, uh, give customers their money. That's Silicon Valley. If y'all want to more information on that, y'all brothers could look it up, right? But you know, this is one of my favorite chapters, man. I think I brought this out last week, Zephaniah. Chapter one. So the name of this one is Judgment on the Whole Earth in in the day of Yahweh, right? But I'm gonna go straight to the point. I'm gonna start at 10, right? This is the NIV version. On that day declares Yahweh, a cry will go up from the fish gate, right? Fish gate represent uh trading place, right? Welling from a new quarter and a loud crash from the hills. Well, you who live in the market district, that's Wall Street, right? Where's Wall Street? In New York City, right? 
all, you, all your merchants will be wiped out and all your trade will, with silver will be destroyed. So it doesn't matter if you take your money out and put it in an investment firm like Morgan Stanley, uh, Merrill Lynch, uh, Vanguard. It doesn't matter. All this shit going to fucking collapse, man. Right? It doesn't matter. Right? All who trade with silver will be destroyed. At the time, I will search Jerusalem with lamps and punish those who are complacent or are like wine left on his drags. Who think Yahweh will do nothing, either good or bad. They wealth be plundered. Right? There's a lot of Israelites that's comfortable. They got a lot of money. Got a lot of Israelites out here in Maryland. They got a lot of money. But the Lord said their wealth will be plundered. Their houses demolished. Though they build houses, they will not live in them. Though they plant vineyards, they will not drink the wine. Yeah. They, you know, they got, I know niggas that got real estate. They into real estate. They flipping houses. They got money. But, you know, they ain't going to be able to enjoy it, you know. Because this place going down. We we see it. We see it. Right? And they brag about their riches. Oh, I got this. I got this. But I'm most likely going to take all that away. Here we go. The great day of Yahweh is near. And near and coming quickly. The cry on the day of Yahweh is bitter. And the mighty warrior shout, shouts his uh, battle cry. That day will be a day of wrath, a day of distress and anguish, a day of trouble and ruin, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness, yeah. a day of trumpet, right? A day, uh, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and, and blackness, a day of trumpet and battle cry against the fortified cities, that's America, and against the corners towers, right? It's an I will bring such distress on all people that they will grope about like those who are blind because they have sinned against Yahweh. Their blood will be poured out like dust and their entrails like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold will be able to save them on the day of Yahweh's wrath. In the fire of his jealousy, the whole earth will be consumed for he will make a sudden end of all who live on the earth. So this ain't no time to be getting riches, man, because the most I gonna take all that away, man. The most I gonna take all that away. Thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. It is over. It's a wrap. Know that they're right? involved in a secret This ain't no trying to to get in this business or get in this business or try to get this degree. America is because finished. To trade, Mr. Thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Here Good go. evening, I'm George Page in New York, and this is another in our series of reports on the world economic crisis. The growing paralysis of the industrial world has left millions without jobs, without money, and without hope. Crowds of unemployed poured into Washington yesterday. What they is that? Millions without jobs, millions without leaders. hope, and millions without money, At the same time, money, more man. than a million people packed St. Peter's Square. It's over. Where the Pope urged calm it's and nonviolence. This is it. The Pontiff asked for prayers Fuck for America. world leaders. Man, I'm going to destroy this place and urgently, man. ASAP. But the last 24 hours have been marked by growing protests but, uh, we know the and ever increasing got to be fulfilled, man. Last night, demonstrators right? burned the American currency We went on an MOTB. We went for World War III, man. And attempts to put out the fire led to a confrontation with police. Hate America, man. Every hour, from every corner of the globe, there are new reports of outraged crowds demanding action.